a Fiverr gig video can be the one thing that convinces someone to buy your Fiverr gig. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to record a Fiverr gig video easily using just your phone and some stuff you probably already have lying around your house. First, here's an example of a bad Fiverr gig video. Hey guys, it's, uh, it's Mike here. Um, this is my Fiverr gig, my Fiverr gig video. Sorry about that. Um, um, with this gig, I'm selling email copywriting. So um, you should buy my gig. I, I'm going to write emails for you. Crappy lighting. Doesn't seem like there was a plan going into this thing. Looks like a mess. Background is kind of distracting. Overall, the video I just showed you feels really sloppy. Now here's an example of a much better Fiverr gig video. Hey, my name is Mike Nardi. I'm a Fiverr seller with over 400 completed orders here on the Fiverr platform. I specialize in copywriting. Generally, I help my clients connect with and engage their prospects to help increase the chances of them purchasing their products or services. So with this gig, if you're interested in marketing or doing outreach to prospects via LinkedIn, I can help you do that. With this gig, I'll write connection request messages and follow-up messages to help you nurture your prospects to the point where they're either willing to take a phone call or a meeting with you or a member of your team or visit your website to learn more about your products or services. So if you're interested in selling on LinkedIn, this might be a great gig for you. If you have any questions before placing an order, feel free to shoot me a message. I'd be happy to chat. Take care. Do you see the difference? This one looks a lot more professional. And looking professional should be the goal, no matter what type of gig video you're recording for yourself. So how does someone like you start the process of recording your own professional looking Fiverr gig video? Well, it starts with first making an outline. For me, I usually focus on breaking down my Fiverr gig videos into a couple of core components. An intro with social proof, I talk about the value proposition of my gig and I try to draw contrast to the buyer's pain points or goals, and then a service description with a call to action. When you're filling out this outline for yourself, what you fill out is really gonna depend a lot on you, the gigs you're offering, your experience, and your target customers. Starting with a solid outline for your gig video is super important. So make sure you take this part of the exercise really seriously. Take some time to think about yourself, reflect on yourself, the services you're offering, the gig you're offering, your experience, the people you're potentially trying to sell this to and fill it out thoughtfully. It'll make recording a really powerful gig video a little bit later on a whole lot easier. The next thing you need to do is to get set up to start recording. So for this video, I'm gonna show you a really basic setup that I would use if I was recording a gig video using just my iPhone. First, you need to pick a location where you're gonna do your filming. There's two really easy options here that I think work really, really well. One is to find a spot in your house or outside your house with a solid colored wall to use as your background. The second option for where you can film is a setup like I'm filming here, an office with a shelf behind you. Just make sure it's you know really neat and tidy. Couple things you want to avoid when deciding on a location to start your filming. You don't want any loose wires hanging behind you. It looks really sloppy. You also want to make sure there's no cups, plates, you know, water bottles lying around. You want to make sure that the shot is clean and doesn't look like you just flicked the camera on in a dorm room and everything's a mess. You want to take some time to tidy up. And the last major consideration that you, you want to look out for is you want to make sure the location you're filming in isn't too noisy. Beside a busy highway, probably a bad spot. In the kitchen while your family's eating in the background and talking, also probably a bad idea. Try to find somewhere quiet so all that your people are hearing is you delivering the message you're trying to deliver. Once you've picked your location, you got to figure out how you're going to set up your phone. Now, if you have a tripod for your phone, that's awesome. You're way ahead. This is going to make your life a whole lot easier. But if you don't want to spend the money on a tripod and don't have one, it's not the end of the world. You can still prop your phone up in a number of different ways to get the shot that you're looking for. What I would probably do to do the most basic amount of work possible to get my phone set up is I'd probably just stack up a pile of books or boxes and wedge the phone between a couple at the top so that it's facing me and is kind of cropped to the shot that I want. When it comes to settings, 
even though most modern phones can shoot in 4K for Fiverr, I tend to favor 1080p because in the past, I'd run into some file size limits when uploading gig videos to my Fiverr gigs. 1080p, honestly, 99.99% .99 of people won't tell the difference. The file sizes will be smaller and everything will be good. So 1080p, either 24 or 30 frames per second if you're gonna go into that level of detail are great settings. The next and honestly, probably the last thing you need to worry about is lighting. You wanna have some good lighting. It's going to make your shot look amazing. Right now for this video, to give you an example, I'm recording beside an open window on a sunny day. It's pleasing, everything's well lit, nothing's in the shadows. This is a great example of something you can do without having to buy any lights. Situate yourself in a room with a bright window and you got your lighting covered as long as it's a bright sunny day. If it's not a bright sunny day or you don't have a big wide open window near where you want to record, also not the end of the world. Grab a lamp, something with as close to a neutral, you know, pure white colored bulb as possible and situate it somewhere off camera so that you, your face, your body are lit up and can be easily seen in the shot. The only thing that I would avoid here because I find that it makes my videos look pretty amateur if I do this is overhead lighting. So I have pot lights in this room or if you have a chandelier in the room you're recording in, um, it usually casts some pretty harsh shadows, gives you like raccoon eyes, shadows under your nose. It just makes the video look pretty amateur. So I would avoid that if you can. Anyways, that's it for this video. That's how you can record a professional looking Fiverr gig video that should help you score some orders and win some clients on your Fiverr gigs. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about how to write solid gig descriptions. Also something that'll help you win clients on Fiverr. So if you haven't already, check that one out. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.